Nasty said, been producing for three years and just recently started to post my beats publicly. How do I help my beats reach an audience? The way to help your beats reach an audience is never just gonna be how you market an MP3 with a cover art. You gotta put something with it. How you made the beat. Yes. You making the beat somewhere cool, something cool artistically that goes along with the beat. Look what Count did. Count went from, all right, I'm putting beats out all the time, putting music out all the time, so let me film myself making a couple beats. I'm not gonna wear a super cool outfit. I'm not gonna try to be funny. I'm just gonna film myself making beats. Ended up doing singles for No Name and working with Mad Lib and doing all this shit by the end of the year. Unfortunately, in 2021, you can't say the thing you used to say to people, which was, if your music's good enough, someone will find it. That shit's not true anymore. There's too much on the internet. There's too much stuff going on. You need to do something to attract people to the music. How are we enticed? How are you pulling us in? I hate that I got to tell people today who make music to market, but in 2021, it's the truth. And you guys see the biggest artists in the world fill a stadium up and build a house in the middle of it to play a couple songs so that the first time you hear that music, it's an experience for you. Yes. Let me ask you this. Every time you listen to Donda now, don't you think about the stadium and all that epic shit and all that imagery from Ye standing in the middle of a giant, empty, white stadium? Like, there's something about how people find your shit before they hear it. How do I make something that's good? That's the first hardest part. Then you make something that's good and it's like, okay, how do I get people to hear it? It's like just as hard. They're both equally as hard. So if you're someone who does music and your music's finally getting to the point where you want to share it with the world, what do you do when you don't know how to make your beats interesting? You collaborate, right? If you can't make your art interesting, if you can't make your creative interesting, if you can't make your design interesting, start reaching out. Maybe you collab with a few different people. See if you guys can find a common language with the artwork stuff, a common language with the design. If you can, run it. If you can't, doesn't mean that's it. Oh, I'm not going to work with a creative person. I'll do it all myself. Figure it out. It took me a long time before I met Dom and I met. I realized this is someone who every time they show me something, I think it's cool. It took me years, years and years and years and years. Dom is so much fucking cooler than me when it comes to design stuff, aesthetic, clothing, all these things. Not things that I think about, not things that I spend time doing. For me to have someone around me who as soon as the music is done has an idea of this is how people should see it. These are the people who help you guys even get excited about my music. I know when I make a law of averages, I'm like, this is crazy. This song is so good. This is my favorite Vince Staples song I've heard in years. Now what? How are people going to see it? How are they going to hear it? What's going to be the first thing they see whenever they find out Vince is dropping? What do we do now? You need to do something to attract people to the music. How are we enticed? How are you pulling us in? And Soul State, I love your channel. So, hit down.